These blades turn at approximately 325 RPM every minute, providing us all the lift we need to go heli skiing to those high alpine peaks. Having the nice big nose gives us increased area for avionics and the electrical equipment of the helicopter. Also on the front, we have these two spiky things. They get pretty hot in flight. These are what's known as the pedostatic tubes. These provide the air pressure information that the pilot needs to know how high he is up in the air and how fast he's going. This is the cockpit and the instrument panel on our Bell 205 helicopter. Unlike a lot of the 205s out there in the world, this helicopter has had a major upgrade done to it. It has what's called a glass cockpit. Unlike most 205s, which just have these gauges, ours has the three LCD screens. This is a really nice mod. On all these LCD screens, we have all the engine gauges and then all of the flight gauges. So these are one of the luxurious seats you'll get to sit in when you come skiing here at Crescent Spur. We got room for 13 people inside this helicopter. You get a seat belt, and that's pretty much it. This is your gateway to powder skiing. This is where the engine's located. This is what's called a Lycoming T53 engine. It's a Dash 17 series, which is the highest horsepower engine you can get in a 205. I'll open up this cowling every day after we go flying to make sure the engine's looking good and looking safe for another day of heli skiing. This is our twin bladed tail rotor on our Bell 205 helicopter. When the pilot lifts up to go heli skiing, he has to increase the pitch on these blades to prevent the helicopter from spinning around in a circle. It's a delicate balance and this has to be working just right for safety. This here's our nice big old ski basket, big enough for 13 pairs of skis for both the guides and all the guests. Uh, if you're a bad skier or if you've been a bad boy or girl that day, you might get stuck in the basket. <laughs> 